Leah, welcome to your April general forecast. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Oh, oh, well, that's really like a very good indication. Hmm. Great news about love, great news about work. Mm -mm. You'll also be getting recognition. Well, you will be dating somebody who's very young than you. Or someone who's younger than you. This is an earth sign. It's just going to be very hard when it comes to your workplace. It looks like you're so worried about somebody who's been backstabbing you. Let's take a look more about that later on, right after doing all the spreads. And... You're, you're trying to make a decision about this water sign. Around you. And you're kind of thinking if there's still a chance, you know, what could be the possibilities, how far it could go, you know, where, when will you take it, it up to the next level and stuff like that. Well, some single Leos, you'll be having sex with someone who's just below your standard. Or somebody that you don't, you know, it's like... It's just for the sake of it. Ten of bowls. Two of stones. Mm -mm -mm. Kidney. Okay, Leo. Okay, there's a good news that's going to be coming your way with regards to finances, love, new love for singles, but it, they're very, very young. I mean, let's say, for example, that you're 40s, this person will be around in his late 20s, 27, 20, 29, something like that. They're not really the junior, but, um, you know, they are an old soul and they will be showing you much more attention love provision and they're very responsible as well and very ambitious even though they're just starting out their career they're going to be reaching far you just need to believe in them yet somehow you're still trying to move on with somebody from the past are you still trying to move on from somebody that's that hurted you in the past and that made you a lot of you know, loneliness and a lot of uh, strife when it comes to your emotions. And you don't quite know if, you know, if this person is worth um, giving another, giving a chance or, you know, if there should be a chance. And you are, you're very conscious of what other people will say. You're very conscious of what other people would talk right behind you. And even though you're, you know, you're also attracted to this person, to this young person, um, you are more conscious about how everyone will, you will react, you know, or how the society will be, uh, you know, we were reacting to your love affair. But you know what? This age is just a number, 
And it, this is no longer a factor nowadays. You know, even if you're like, like a May December love affair, <laughs> this is just normal already. Some some people do marry, you know, like um, even if they're already in their late twenties or mid twenties, and they're gonna be marrying someone who's already sixty years old. You know, it's uh, it's already normal, and it's just uh, you know, it's no longer a thing. Now. But you still can't move on with this person whom you really consider as your soulmate. And even if this person have hurted you a lot of times and, you know, severely in the past, you still, you can still see yourself being with them. And you still want to wait for the right time. You still want to wait till the time comes that they are ready to, you know, to go back into your life. Well, you know what? Just try and give this other person a chance. I feel like they're worth it. Anyway, you're so afraid of your work. And you know that there is something that somebody has been doing right behind you in the area right. Now, this person is a younger earth sign. And they are very envious, spiteful, and they want to, you know, take a shortcut to their way up and they want to eliminate you out of their way that's why they are doing this and um despite of this you will try to talk to this person but they are the one who will be acting nasty towards you so there's no point in talking there's no point in you know there's no point in um being diplomatic and talking about the things that let's say professionally should be dealt with you know like an adult but um, this person is not really professional so don't really expect ethics from them and instead even if you already caught them doing something they're instead of apologizing they're not they're gonna make it appear that you know you deserve it and so what you know like you can't touch me what are you gonna do you know that kind of attitude and I feel like this is the time where you will be making a decision about moving or about, uh, you know, thinking of another opportunity. And I feel like, you know, there will be some arguments, there will be some commotion or there will be some altercation that might ha that might come in between you and this person. Because this is not, it's not just once that they will be pissing you off, but they will do it four times this month until that you're going to be losing your temper and you'll be you know put in a very bad position but instead of you getting fired for the job they are the one who will get fired because a lot of people will be testifying that this person is the one who's been pissing you off and in intentionally provoking you so don't worry the justice will be on your side okay even if you will be losing your temper and it's like you're gonna you're gonna be acting like a wild lion you know this uh, this uh this month this person is very nasty and very immature as well. What do you expect? So, well, well, your boss will be telling you that you sh you shouldn't have, uh, you know, stood below their level. But with whatever it is that they're going to be doing to you, I feel like anybody who's in your position will always be losing their, you know, their temper. Anyway, um, and then this person around you that you've been thinking which is younger than you much younger than you that even though you do have attraction chemistry connection you're thinking of you know if, should there be a chance will there be a chance how long will it take you know they love me they love me today what about tomorrow because some you know sometimes younger people they love you today tomorrow will be a big question mark you know and i feel like this person is part of your past life Okay, you do have some past life connection. And the more you cut this person off, the more you try to, you know, um, cut off your connection or sever your ties, the more you will feel more drawn, the more you will think about this person. And it's like it's going to be a long and hard battle, okay, between you and yourself and your feelings about this person. And if ever I feel like you're, you will have a chance of getting pregnant, or you will have a child with this person altogether. 
Yet somehow that you're still waiting for this fire sign to come back and have another chance, you know. Um, seek some brand new beginnings in offer, but you know that y you know in this relationship with the other with the other person, the fire sign that you are waiting for, you will always be the giver. So you need to think. I mean, you need to think long and hard about this. You know, these options of yours. Because with the other person, even though they are younger, you're not the one who's going to be a giver. They're the one who will be provider and they're very responsible. Um, you just need to give them a child. Now, when it comes to your sex life, I feel like you will be entangled or you will be, you know, doing it with somebody that is a little bit different from you. Or a little bit out of your league or out of your standards. Even though it's going to be one hell of an exciting, you know, um, ecstasy for this month for you. You feel like this is not really the person that you can see yourself being with in the long run. And you will also find out that this person is still dealing with somebody or still messing around with someone that you also know at the same time. Even though they are very good and bad and they are, you know, they can really deliver... You feel like it's just only a game and it will always be a game. All right. So Mhm. Mm no, at least that your sex life will be, you know, not so dry. And for some who, you know, who's been celebrating, then I feel like this is the time that you will be, you know, um, getting all the way. Eh. Well, you're trying to choose your options. You're trying to make your options open. So, okay. As long as you're not going to be um, running over someone, you know, with your desires, it's okay. Now, when it comes to your health... Well, it's just your two kidneys that's going to be like the uh, issue for you. And I feel like you need to take care of this as early as possible. Okay. You will also have a hard time getting up. And um, I feel like you need to lower down the intake of salts and, um, you know, anything that, will, that could possibly affect your kidney and your liver at this point and you will also try some other methods of healing because you um i feel like you've already gone through with uh, some other doctors in the past but it's like they can't really help you out with you know where it is coming from but then this month you will be focusing much more on your you know on your kidney and i feel like this is what you should be paying attention aside from if, from anything else the, the others are just very minor allergies i mean allergies um blisters of uh, bo well not really boils but uh, uh red spots that's very itchy and i feel like this is where you will be um <coughs> I feel like this is where you're gonna be um hmm, feeling a little bit more busy oh uh um try to drink the um when you boil the uh, the corn okay I include the hair or the uh you know the um the the coverings of it and uh when you boil it just put a bit of um you know flavoring or it's much better if you're not gonna put anything else especially salt and try to drink it okay if uh, cranberry doesn't really work out for you anymore then the um you know the water from the the uh the corn when you boil them you have to drink it along with the hair it's uh you know it's going to be very healthy and good for your kidney so about your um oracle cards um Three of action, things are working out beautifully. Now that your ship has come in, it's time to decide what your next big project will be. You may choose to continue to build upon your successes or move on to something entirely different. Be willing to travel if necessary. Guardian of thought, you may, you may be called upon to 
uh, to be a spokesperson for a cause close to your heart, your angels will give you the perfect words and you'll do it brilliantly. You may be asked to be a mentor or find one yourself. The situation involves someone who's professional with a, with a positive attitude and fresh ideas. This person who could be you may be emotionally unavailable. Nine of thoughts, stop being so hard on yourself and turn your thoughts toward the positive. There's no need to worry. Anticipating the worst isn't helpful. Know that heaven will provide a solution. If you are experiencing sleepless nights or anxiety over a challenge in your life, release the problem to your angels. Anyway, that's it for you for this month, Leo. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live in the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.